Magandang Marabi everybody, welcome back to Lila channel and today we will continue off where we left off with How Stories Die. So last time we left off, we carried Rico back to the castle after she fell ill. So yeah, let's continue. Should have removed the armor. Ah, bless the solid ground. Thanks for carrying me. No need to thank me. You should go to bed. I will have a guard escort you. I'm not going with some stranger. You might take advantage of me of my weakened state to attack me in an off-match move. You don't know how many enemies want me dead in the arena. Wow, the gladiator industry is even more dangerous than it looks like. You won't, but I can go with you if it makes you feel safer. Definitely. Even if you were to attack me, you're so weak you won't pose a threat. Thanks for the compliment. Don't get used to it. That was a compliment. <laughs> uh, also, you'll have to carry me. You don't even need to say it. It's not because I need to, it's just that you won't shut up if I won't let you help me. You're right. Climb onto my back. I know what to do. Alright, you can change. I won't look. I don't need to. I'll sleep with this. You're going to sleep with armor? You know it has blood on it, right? What if my opponent- oh. What if my opponents were trying attacking me outside of the arena? I told you such things can and did happen. Are they really going to sneak into this heavily guarded place? Palace? I am not going to be an easy prey. It's never a bad thing to be extra prepared. Okay then, enough chit chat for now. Yes, I shall lie in bed now. Good night. Wait, I didn't give you a <laughs> well kiss. What? Uh, uh, don't take it this way. It's just that when I was little and when I was sick, my mother gave me a get well kiss before I went to sleep. So I thought... It's fine. Sorry for bursting. If you don't want me to do it, you can say so. so sorry, I, I can't. It's okay. I do that as a service to the public. Though I don't know why would someone refuse a kiss from a hot prince. Okay, buddy. I prefer a kiss from a guy I like rather than some handsome prince. Wait, wait, wait. Do you say I am hot? That's not the main th You can't go back on that, you know. <laughs> uh, you are so annoying. No matter what you say, I see that as a victory. Is that really a victory? The fact you never had a girlfriend even though you look good just means your personality is hot garbage. But what? Well, that damn Nozomi sh should shut her big mouth. Good night, Horace. Let's call this thing off before you manage to milk more compliments out of me. Gabo Rico. Good night. I bumped into a small table on the way out. Ouch! A small paper fell down and I picked it up. Da! Ah, don't touch that! Huh? What's with her? I looked at the paper in my hand. It's a drawing. A drawing of me. The paper was pretty old. This drawing couldn't have been drawn today or yesterday. Rico? You, you, you didn't see that, right? Why do you have a drawing of me? Rico's body stiffened. Uh, well, it's not mine. Really? It's obvious she's lying, but why? Put it down. Okay, okay. Why is it in your room? Uh, uh, mm, uh. Ah, ah! Someone must have planted it in my room to confuse you. I don't want to pressure her any more than that. She's both sick and drunk. You can wait after the date with Harka. Good, good night. Rico got up and walked towards me. Wait, Rico, you shouldn't get up. You are still sick. And she shut the door in my face. <sighs> A drunk of me, huh? What does that mean? I'll have to think about it later. I'm too tired for that right now. Dating is harsher than I thought. But I think they had fun. Both of them, Nozomi and Rico, are charming. But if I had to decide, I will have to go with... Huh. Um, this is probably gonna affect the route probably more than the rest, maybe. I don't know, I don't really... <laughs> Let's go with Rico. Nozomi is not bad at all, but she is a little bit too much, too much cheerful for my taste. I love Rico's shy side. It seems it's worth it to go through all her insults to see her cute bashful face. There is also Haruka. She seems really gullible and innocent, but I can't put past a judgment until I get to know all three of the 
heroes. This makes me wonder, what will be Haruka's date location? Maybe a walk in the park? I think that suits her personality. Well, judging from what we saw earlier, um, she went like, was it yonder? I don't know what, if that was a proper term, but she went kind of uh, sadistic on that guard. I have to go s to sleep as well. Good night, me. Wait, what? I thought Haruka's zone was... Oh, I thought it was going to be at the evening or like night time. I guess it's the next day. This ending, it ruined everything. It turned my store into garbage. How do I fix it? How do I make my character act natural? Perhaps I should structure my story differently instead of thinking of the whole plot beforehand. I should try to find the beginning and the characters and then, well, how do the idiots phrase it? Go with the flow? Hmm, let's try that. Let's try writing another story using the structure and see what happens. Damn it, this feels really off. It's like it's not even me who is writing the story, but the story is writing itself. There is no way the story could be perfect. I will show this to the professor and say that a friend of mine wrote it. I don't want this abomination to have any connection to me whatsoever. Professor. Oh, it Itai. I read your story and... Oh no, he's about to completely roast me for that crappy story. I need to make it clear a friend of mine wrote it. Professor, before you say anything, it wasn't me who wrote it, but... It was almost perfect. It easily tops your last one. The story is the peak of storytelling. Uh, uh, why do you look surprised? With the level of writing you showed me in your previous story, it was obvious you would create something even greater. May I have this for myself? I want to cherish this story. S sure. Why? How did this crappy story best my previous one? It wasn't even really me who wrote the story, the characters wrote it themselves. I will look forward with great anticipation for your next story, but I doubt it, or any story for that matter, could surpass this one. But it isn't mine. It's not my story. Stop saying it's my story. Hmm. I mean, he wrote it. This is kind of dumb in my opinion. <laughs> Their stories write themselves, but you are writing it based off what you think the story should write as itself be writing. So it kind of doesn't make sense. Well, to me anyway. What should I do now? Should I continue with those perfect stories that aren't mine? No, I will reach perfection on my own. If I use the help of my characters, then I cannot call myself perfect. See, you it's my characters, your characters, you created it. So, I don't know, man. Alright, let's try writing another one. This time, it will be entirely my own. Hmm. Professor, what did you think of the story I gave you to read? Well, um, huh? what is that face he is making? I heard that people make faces of disgust when they encounter something they don't like, like I do when I meet a meet friend A. <laughs> but it cannot be a face of disgust, right? After all, it's my story that we are talking about. Don't take it too hard, but after I read your previous story, everything just pales in comparison. It really is a face of disgust. No, no, no! This story is still wonderful, amazing, and one of the best stories I've ever read. He hates it. My story is disgusting. I, I cannot bear this shame. I want to kill myself right here. Just find a place to bury myself and be over with it. I think it's very similar to this first story that you've shown me in that the ending. Sorry, Professor. I have to go. I can't stay here. The shame is just too much for me. I sprinted out of the room. Hey, Itai. Wait. His name changed to <laughs> from an I to a Y. A Y to an I. But I didn't hear him. I couldn't hear him. He's calling me anymore. You know, if you if that's just one professor's opinion, you could probably get a different opinion from other professors and they'll say that the first and third writing is better than the second. So, man, this guy's got to be a little bit more rational here. So, what do I do now? Which kind of stories do I write? But then I guess I forgot he wants everyone to love his story, so if one person hates it, then I guess his whole ego is in uh, peril. Should I let the story write itself again? No, then the story wouldn't be mine. The disappointed and disgusted face of the professor flashed back before my eyes. No, I don't want to go through that ever again. Even even if these are, aren't my stories, I have to keep it. I have to keep my perfect image. Yes, let's do it. It's time to get down to writing again. No, I phrased it wrong. After all, it wouldn't be me doing the writing. I hate this. 
I know. Boo! Ah, you are that. Yes, yes, your servant. You already went through it last time. Now I remember you. You said there's a difference between saving everyone and saving Alteria, right? Yes, there is. But don't worry about it right now. Let's talk about that after, uh, 2,000 lifetimes. What? 2,000 is a good number. What are you talking about? I'm not going to wait 2,000 lifetimes. Tell me now. You just refuse to let go, huh? Tell you what, I should, will share a secret with you if you promise to stop asking about that. Deal? Mm, okay. You are being lied to. By who? Rico or Nozomi? Both. Two different kind of lies. One is lying to herself, and one is lying to you specifically. So that means Haruka is the one I should choose. No, I definitely didn't mean that. Rico and Nozomi lie, but not in a harmful way. So, in what way? I'll leave it for you to find out. Anyway, find the lie, and the mystery shall unfold by itself. Good luck. Hero of Fortune out. Maybe the one who's lying is you. A another dream. I can't remember anything, but I have a feeling there was something important in it. Never mind that. I need to get ready for my day with Harka. Alright, I am dressed. She's supposed to meet me in the throne room, right? I'll check if she's there. Ooh, excuse me. Hello there. Did you sleep well? Yep, you? Yes, it became much better ever since you dealt with those guards. So, where are we going today? F forgive me, I, I can't tell you right now. Don't worry, everyone else are not telling me about their date either. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That pink girl, her name is Nozomi. She told me dates are better kept as a surprise. She looks like an expert in dates, so I decided to listen to her. Yeah, she has a talent for looking like she understands something she doesn't know anything about. That is true. Yeah, 15 minutes before we need to go. Do you have an idea for a way to kill time? Um, it may sound stupid. You can say it. Do, do you like riddles? Not particularly, but... Th then forget I said anything. Haruka, next time let me finish my sentence. <laughs> I was about to say it sounds like fun. Really? That's a relief. Do you want to start? Sure. Let me think about a good one. Mm. Okay, I've got it. What can you never outrun? The answer is time. Let's see how much time it takes her to get to, to get the answer. But Haruka didn't even look like she was thinking. She just stared deeply into my eyes. It was a bit creepy. Like she can see something beyond. The answer is time. To be honest, that was pretty easy. Uh, riddle. I even got that as I read that sentence. It took only f it took it only took her five seconds. Maybe she already knows the riddle. No, it was just easy. Let's try again. Can I have another go? It was over so fast. Go ahead. What has cities but no people? Sea but no fish and mountains without trees. Hmm. What cities has? I want to kind of solve this. Wait, give me a second. What has cities but no people? A sea but no fish. In mountains without trees. The letter C? No. Mountains without trees. Actually, I don't know. Oh, okay, okay. The answer is map. But she will probably need a map to get to the right answer. Once again, Haruka looks at me with this creepy stare. Or is it just me imagining it? A map. Yeah, I knew it had something to do with letters. I should have just read into it more. I start with E, I end with E. Oh no, this is a different riddle. Whoops. I start with E, I end with E. I have only one letter, but it is not E. I start with E, I end with E. I have only one letter, but it is not E. E. I only have one letter. E. Envelope. Okay. The answer is envelope. I feel like I heard this one before, but it was a long time ago. Yeah, I, yeah, I remember this riddle. I heard this during middle school or something. Frustration shall envelop her as she won't find an answer to that riddle. Once again, with this look, it looks like she is staring right into my mind. The answer is... Um. The answer is envelope. Okay, she is really good, but now I am going to give her a super hard one. I go over the useless 
lessons on the history of other nations in my head. Okay, I've got a super hard one. I originated from the earth. There are five of me, and I was used to be I was used to both kill as well as to crown a new king. I originated from the earth. There are five of me. Oh, I never heard of this one for sure. This time Harka didn't stare at me. She just immediately answered. One of David's five stones. In the ancient land of Judaria, there was a legend about a man that killed a giant who infected the kingdom with five stones. The people were so grateful they crowned him as their new king. She actually got it in less than two seconds. That's absolutely amazing. And she knows about some obscure story of a distant kingdom I learned about in my history lessons. Harka must be some kind of a master of riddles or something. David w David was such a handsome man, with red hair and beautiful blue eyes. Wait, something is not right. Uh, Harka? What? David died 40,000 years ago. There were no records about his appearance. Uh, really? I, I was sure I read it somewhere. Oh, okay then. Do you want another riddle? Mm, did something happen? You look pretty depressed. Horace, about the riddles. I, I get that you're trying to be nice, but please don't make them extremely easy out of manners. It, it's a little bit insulting. Insulting? Just the opposite. I get that now you're going to consider me a dumbass, but I tried my best to give you a hard riddle. Really? Uh, I don't think you're stupid. Thanks. It's okay, you can say the truth, but regardless, I appreciate your kindness. But you really are a super genius, Haruka. I never saw anyone get the answers for these under an hour, let alone two seconds. Uh, thanks. Now it's your turn to ask. Y yes The more you take, the more you leave behind. Who am I? The more you take, the more you leave behind. The more you take, the more le you leave behind. Uh, I'm not quite sure, honestly. Mm, I've got it! Wait, what? Oh, I have to answer it anyway. <laughs> oh, at least it's a multiple choice now. Air while eating footsteps. The more you take, the more you leave a hits. I guess footsteps is true. Footsteps, because the more footsteps you take, you leave more footsteps behind you. That's right. You see? You are as amazing as me. Even better. Just don't lower your self-esteem. I have a feeling she picked an easy one on purpose. I think it's a good time to get going. You don't want to miss... Right. Whatever it is, I don't want to miss it. Let's go! This is weird. No one is here except a few guards. Usually, at this hour, the market should be filled with life. The sights, the sounds, the smells, none of them exist. Alright, it should be here somewhere. What are we looking for? I, I told you, it's a surprise. Oh right, I totally forgot about it. I don't see it anywhere. I remember that it's supposed to be here. Uh, okay, if you want, I can go search it myself. I will tell you when I will find it. Nah, where's the fun in that? Let's stick together. I can't have the Hero of Fortune alone in the street. And in this case, literally alone. Okay, oh. Okay then, I actually prefer it that way. Harka and I continued walking down the street for about two minutes until Harka stopped in her tracks. Oh, I just remembered, it's not this way. Do you mean we've been following the wrong path all this time? N no it's not that bad. But maybe it's that way? No. I am not, not not sure. What about this? I think we should try to ask someone. Y yes, that would be for the best. There is only one problem. This place is lifeless. There is no one here. Now, now that you mention this, it's very unusual. Uh oh, the bustle of the market is nowhere to be heard. Standing here watching this emptiness is almost unnatural. Creepy. There is a guard over there. Let's ask him where is that place. Okay, good, good idea. Young couple, this area is now out of bounds. Why? The prince and the hero of fortune require it to perform a certain activity. You really don't know who I am? You are a guard in the capital. Aren't you supposed to know how the prince looks like? Yeah, that's kind of true. Why do these people or these guards say feel? I feel like they're so... I don't know, kind of dumb. Still, that's pretty weird. They are telling citizens to get away from the area they didn't do that in the last two dates. 
Actually, we are the Prince of the Hero of Fortune. <laughs> Something was off. The guard was shocked, but it wasn't the OMG, oh, you are the Prince kind of shock. I know how that shock looks like. I've seen it all throughout my life. That shock was different. You have a sapphire ring, don't you? Y yes Oh, I see. Something's off. Something is definitely off. Well then, sorry to disturb you. Oh, turns out my bad feeling was wrong. I was about to turn back and go back to the date, but what Harka said stopped me. Harus, that man plans to kill me. <coughs> what? I pushed away Harka right on time before his sword reached her. Ah! Damn you! Shit! Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah! He's going to kill us! What do I do now? <clears throat> Where's Gudolf? Yeah, I don't have time for that! Find yourself, call for help. Um, well, judging from the way both Rico and um, Nozomi talk about him, I feel like that fighting him by myself will be stupid. And then, if you recall what, um, what was that? What uh, Harka said about um, you know going to war. She feels like that taking the risk as a prince is stupid because you're supposed to lead. So by that logic, we'll go call for help. I cannot face this alone. There must be some guards around here. Sorry Harka, I don't want to leave you with him, but I cannot fight him with on my own. Help! Help me! Guard! Someone! What happened? The guard is attacking the Hero of Fortune. He appeared right in the middle of the street. Where? Show me! I hope I am not too late. When we arrived at the scene, we saw the enemy guard dead on the ground. Harka just stood near him and smiled. What happened here? This man just fell on the ground and died. I think he had a heart attack or something. What? That sounds way too convenient. But as long as this guy is dead... Listen, Harka, I am really sorry I ran away and left you here. I wanted to get help, but I'm a big coward too. I know that words can't... Don't worry, the fact that you ran away always makes me happy. Yeah, see? 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 And you should be happy from this. A king should never risk his life in order to save others. You're the most important man in the kingdom. You must always take actions to assure you are safe. Even if it puts other people's lives in danger. But you already knew that, don't you? You do understand I left you here to die, right? Yes, but that was the character's decision. I am not angry. Personally, I, I would have just stayed and tried to fight, but... Yeah, we're gonna have to try to play play the story, not, not personal opinions. Or that's... Actually, I've been doing personal opinions for some of the questions, so... Yeah, it'll be a mixed bag. In the start, I thought Nozomi was weird. Then Rico surpassed her, but you just blew away the competition. <laughs> My prince, please come here for a moment. Okay. We walked away from Harka and the guard started whispering. That man didn't die from heart attack. I noticed large flesh burns all over his body. But there wasn't any fire. We would have smelled it if there was one. Yes, that concerns me too. Did you think the hero had any connection to that? It's a possibility. But if Harka did it, then how did you stop the fire without leaving remnants of the smell in such a short time? Maybe she used the fireless fire? Where did you get that stupid idea from? And what is fireless fire even supposed to mean? I don't know. Just a guess. Okay, I'll pay special attention to everything Harka does. You can go now. Will you two be okay on your own? Um, better that you would watch this from afar. Got it. What did he tell you? Something about the guard that died. Harka's gaze looked a bit scary. It's not easy to notice. But she looks like she can see beyond superficial, deep into my mind. It's like that she can see everything that goes on in my mind. But after all, that's just a feeling. She probably has telepathy or some sort of clairvoyance. Oh, okay then. By the way, are we still doing the dating thing after all of this? We have to keep going. Mm. We have to keep going for the sake of the kingdom. Keep dating beautiful girls for the sake of the kingdom. That's kind of funny without the context. Can you walk? Y yes, I think so. Thanks for caring for me. You don't even need to thank me. It's only natural I would care for my date. We searched for approximately 20 minutes, but finally we found it. it. It's over. The date location is... The vegetable stand? Not just normal vegetable stand. 
It had put 75% off on all items. But, well, at least in the last two hours. We were too late. The vegetable stand is a very um, weird location for a date. But given Harka's past, it makes sense that this is the place he chose. For me, a sale means utterly nothing, but for her, it is a godsend. Don't worry, Harka. I am sure we will find another one. Yeah, let's do it. That was the least motivational let's do it I've heard in my life. My prince! Huh? Gudolf. My prince, are you safe? What happened? I'm so sorry. I needed to go pee, but then... Yeah, I get it, Gudolf. It's okay. I will forgive you as an apology for what happened with Nozomi. Thank you so much, my prince. By the way, my prince, there is another matter to be discussed. What is it? Do you remember that this is the monthly royal request day? Yes, today father usually sits on the throne and listens to the problems of the people of Altaria. I usually watch from the side in order to develop a good sense of judgement. As you already know, our king is currently sick and is unable to participate in the royal request day. So we thought it would be a good opportunity to test your judgement skills. Did you forget that I'm in the middle of a date which could decide the fate of the entire kingdom? Frankly, yes. I should have expected that. I know the monthly royal request date is important, but I have a much more important... I think it would be wonderful. Haruka? I don't mind that. Uh, also, it will be pretty cool to witness you act as a real king. I can't wait to see that. Alright, if you want, then I guess I have no choice. Let's go to the palace. A wise decision, my prince. Okay. Um, yeah. So I guess this will be, we'll leave off here and we'll continue on with the uh, Harka's date in the next video. So far, we went back to Itai's uh, storyline and yeah, I guess we're finished with the first half of uh, Harka's storyline. Yeah, look forward to the next uh, video, part two, Harka's uh, date. Sige po, paalam!